what I'm going to be doing today is showing you uh, how to undervolt your graphics card on your laptop. And the, the reason you'd want to be doing that mm -hmm. is you're going to be keeping the temperatures down on your GPU. And in turn, the spill on or the synergistic effect of that is that your GPU is cool and now that cools your CPU as well. And obviously, the lower your temperatures are, the higher your performance output is going to be for a longer sustained period. So the files you're going to, or yeah, the files you're going to need, you're going to have to download. So go to msi.com, download Afterburner, go to Tech Power App GPU Z, download GPU Z. Right, once you got all those nice files downloaded, download MSI uh, or um, install MSI Afterburner. Uh, once this is installed, it's going to give you a prompt to install River Tuna Statistics as well. It's this little program over here. And what this program does, it allows you uh, or allows um, the, all the statistics to uh, once you play a game to be um, uh, displayed in the left hand corner over here. Right. So go to your set, go to your settings here on MSI Afterburner. Just make sure all these uh, boxes are ticked. Um, check for available product updates. Put never and check uh, check for available product beta versions and the reason you want that is you don't want uh, all these little processes and updates running in the background you want the maximum performance always right monitoring i prefer uh, when i play a game i don't want uh, all my all my cores in my cpu to be displayed um that's overkill you'll see it's it, it, it blocks off a big portion of your game if you've got all these statistics in i like to keep it clean so these are these are the settings i use the gpu core clock gpu usage gpu temperature uh, uh the the uh the vram memory clock the vram memory usage the cpu clock cpu usage cpu temperature ram usage and frame time frame time is important because that's how you um you monitor your fps within games that's that's a holy grail so to speak anyways once you got all that nice and set up click apply press ok right so now we're getting to the fun the fun stuff under vaulting of the gpu so remember i asked you to download gpu z so what you're going to do is you're going to go to gpu z open it up so i've got a gtx 1650 in my laptop whatever your laptop uh, gpu is just look for the default clock and the boost clock the boost clock figure is what you're going to be setting your uh setting your uh your frequency to so effectively uh the purpose of this video is i'm showing you how to undervolt your your graphics card to lower the temperature but then also uh, overclock it to your boost clock. So the temperatures are lower, but it's operating at a higher frequency at a constant. All right, guys, now, now we're going to go to the curve editor. And then I'd say start at 900. So find the dot that corresponds with 900. And whatever your boost clock is, drag this up or down until you get to your boost clock. Right? So then once you find the right frequency with the right or with the 900 millivolts, what you're going to do is you're going to press control and L and then that's going to, that's going to lock it in at your desired frequency at 900 millivolts. So then what you do then is you go out here, press apply, go to curve editor, and then just make sure certain, uh, just, just pull all these little dots down until it's like a relatively straightish line connecting from the side to to your 900 millivolt frequency dot over here and then from this dot onwards uh, just pull all these dots into a straight line it's a little bit time consuming but that's uh that's a process that you have to follow so that what they'll do it'll it will lock in the 900 millivolts at the at this constant frequency which you selected right from there close that press apply save save it to profile number one lockets 
and then uh, open open up any demanding game that you have with, on your laptop and then play for about 10 15 minutes um yeah and if you don't experience any crashes what you're going to want to do is you want to go obviously we're under vaulting here so you want to get the voltage as low as possible so then what you're going to do is you're going to come back into curve editor and then you're going to go eight uh, down 25 millivolts and to select the frequency there press ctrl l and then just straighten out this line straighten out this line again close press apply save one lock and then just repeat the process again open up your most demanding game play the game for about 15 20 minutes and if there are no crashes that's great and then you're going to go back into ms uh, the curve editor over here and you're going to drop it down uh, another 25 millivolts press ctrl l and then just line up these little dots here line up this dot here and then close this press apply and then bob's your uncle anyways you're going to repeat that process until you get to a point where your game actually crashes once your game crashes go up 25 millivolts and so let's say i dropped it down to 825 millivolts uh the game crashes so then i go back up 25 millivolts lock it in at the, my desired frequency at 850 millivolts close this press apply press save one lock so now what's in effect what's happened is you've locked it at your your the highest boost frequency that your graphics card can achieve but also at the lowest stable voltage so you're going to get the highest performance for the lowest temperature right just to show you what it looks like at the end of the day let me what's going to open here quickly all right so let's open up shadow of the tomb raider all right let's play right so remember i was telling you that i was telling you that uh I prefer to have as, as few numbers as possible, but they give me all the information that I need. So I've got my GPU, the, 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 the core clock, the usage, the temperature, and as you can see, the temperature is looking mighty fine. It's low 60s. Uh, uh, this is the, the GPU memory. I've overclocked it a little bit, and this is the usage over here. The CPU is running at full tilt. Uh, this is the boost. Uh, this is the clock. This is the usage and as you can see my CPU temperatures in game are pretty damn good All right So now as you can see that's what it looks like it's nice and clean uh, If you take uh, if you select all the other figures It's going to give you each individual core of your CPU and it's going to take up a big Chunk of your real estate of your screen. You don't want that you want it nice and clean like this. This is the way I prefer it. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much how you undervolt your graphics card. And just to reiterate again, you want low temperatures on your GPU, on your CPU, because that's going to give you the maximum level of performance uh, at the lowest temperature. I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, if you've got any questions, ask away in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, if it's been helpful, uh, consider giving me a, a like consider sharing the video and i'll if it feels like christmas give me give uh, give me a follow on on youtube i mean i've only got 22 at the moment more would be great <laughs> anyways guys thanks so much have a great day and peace